Hello. Hello. And welcome to April 2021. Can you believe it? Is the world getting any better yet? Oh no. It is, um, it is getting worse out there. Anyway, forgetting about all that, if you've been following this channel for a while now, you'll know that we are both huge fans of Japan and we really miss it a lot since we can't travel right now. Yeah, we're both really missing Japan considering the fact that we haven't been able to travel for so long. Like, what's the one thing you miss the most about Japan? Food. Well, then I have good news for you because today's video is actually sponsored. <laughs> today's sponsor is Boxu. Boxu is a monthly snack box subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and every box contains a tea that they've hand selected that pairs well with the snacks in the box. Boxu are the only Japanese snack box that partners with 100 plus year old family snack makers to deliver Japan exclusive snacks to your door so that you can experience the many flavours of Japan, one snack, candy and tea at a time. First time Boxu customers receive the Seasons of Japan box, so you can get a taste of the snacks per season. Repeat customers receive a themed box every month, curated around cultural themes and seasonal flavours of Japan. The current theme is Sakura Spring, featuring tons of Sakura flavoured snacks in honour of cherry blossom season. If you purchase a Boxu subscription box, shipping is free, and you can pause or cancel your subscription at any time. So sign up for Boxu today to have your own gourmet journey through Japan every month. And the good news is that you can now get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box by using this code here and also by clicking the link below. So yeah, if you guys want to get your hands on your own Japanese snacks with a 10% discount, follow that link down in the description below and it helps us out a lot and we would really appreciate it. So without further ado, let's get into the video because I know you are dying to try some of these Japanese snacks. Yeah. So this is our boxu. They look small, but they actually fit a surprising amount of things in there. And this is pretty heavy. And you know what they say? Good things come in small packages. <laughs> Ta da! Oh, slick. slick Peter Parker over here. So the first thing in the box is actually a thank you card from the creator that talks about the history of starting Boxu and like why they decided to put these boxes together. So that's really nice. So the next thing in the box and the thing that I think is actually really cool about all Boxus is that they come with these little cultural guides in them. And basically what it is is an explanation of the theme of the box for the month. But it goes into detail about your snacks, whether or not they're vegetarian, any allergens or things like that. And the thing that I think is the coolest about it is it actually shows you on the map the different regions regions of Japan that all the snacks come from which I just think is really interesting because we both love Japan so much. So I just think it's really cool and it gives you a little insight into like the different regions of Japan and even a little bit of info about how they're made so I just think that's really cool. So now we are into the actual snacks and I told you I did not lie they fit a lot into this little box. And also the box itself is just like really really nice yeah it's cute cool. this is gonna be a box that you keep i know you're gonna do it oh yeah i can keep that and get rid of that one. lynn is a hoarder when it comes to like i like keeping boxes cute boxes or any packaging yeah. or anything like that so the first thing is this tea japanese green tea blended with roasted rice Ooh. But we're not going to try it right now. So we're definitely going to save that one for later when we're like really actually eating the snacks as opposed to now when we're just kind of like taste testing them. So the first thing we're going to try is the dango mochi. It's so cute. So I've tried mochi before, but Connor's never had mochi before. So this would be really interesting. Yeah, and something I noticed that was cool was that most of the stuff in the box, we actually got like doubles of, which is really good if you live with someone who has a habit of eating your snacks all the time. I don't know who he's talking about. <laughs> so we have doubles of everything, so we each get our own snack. Yeah. So we don't know what mochi is. Um, it's actually sticky rice, which... Sticky rice dumplings, which I actually didn't know. So apparently the colours don't matter for the flavour, but just to be safe, I'm going to have the white one. No, I'm going to have the pink one. So there are sticky rice dumplings coated like pretty heftily in sugar. I'm so hungry. Because I didn't have dessert after dinner for this. So I'm like, oh, I have sugar all over my lipstick now. Mm. Yo, this is dope. Yeah, well, nicer. Wait, hold on, hold on. 
I've had different type of mochi. I had red bean mochi. Oh, so no wonder. So there's different types of mochi, and this yeah. one's really good. This is insanely it's good. Delicious. Like, if you've seen our previous snack videos, mm. or if you know me as a person, I am, like, the world's pickiest eater. So if I am telling you that something is nice, like, it is good. Very messy, though. Yeah. Sugar everywhere. There's sugar <laughs> everywhere. Oh, my God. There's mm. sugar all over mm. me. I want to eat the next one, but I know I have a lot to try, so I won't do that. It's really chewy and sweet. Yeah, it's full of sugar, but it's not, like, too sweet or anything. It's, like, a perfect yeah. snack. It's not, like, too sweet. It's, it's just really sweet. I thought the texture would freak you out a bit, but the red bean is, like, way weirder. But yeah, I'm amazed. That was that was surprisingly good. <laughs> we have... started off on a good one for yeah. you. Yeah. I feel like we should have left that till the end. No. We started off too strong now. You never know. You could like everything. I, I highly do. <laughs> okay, so the next thing is actually these, which are stick potatoes. So they're kind of like crisps. So they're thin and crispy potato sticks with a plum flavor. And I don't know if I'm going to be into this. Yeah. Because like crisps should be salty or like they might be salty as well. Savory, like fruity is it could be all of the things. Fruity is not where I would go. Really cute bag too. They, they don't actually smell bad though. Yeah, they smell kind of nice. Maybe the plum is like really underpowering. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. They are really thin, like That is surprisingly good also. Mm. I'm very shocked. I I don't know what's happening. Mm. No, these are really good. Everything tastes delicious to me. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are like really good. It's just a slight, it's like an undertone. It's not like too like... I would eat this whole bag. I'm, I'm kind of hung up Stop here. Stop eating them all I'm because gonna... we need to eat a lot and you're going to get full like the last video. Like. True. You need to stop. Okay, I'm doing, I'm stopping now. I swear. These are a massive win in my book. And these, honestly, these were one of the things I was the most apprehensive about. I thought this was a cherry. I won't lie. Yeah, I know they're Ume plums, I think Ume it says. Plums. Yeah, it's very, the plum taste is plum very plus. faint, but it works surprisingly well. I would eat, if, if I didn't have like a yeah, whole... Yeah, it says like the flavour is savoury, so... If I didn't have a whole table of snacks in front of me, I would be at the bottom of this. No problem. I am shocked. I'm surprised you were not more shocked. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll keep going. Yeah, that's what makes me nervous. This is about to get much Started worse. Started off on, on like stuff that I kind of knew you would like. Yeah, I feel like we just got really lucky with the first two and I'm about to be like really, really Can I take that now. back? That's a lie. I thought you were going to hate mochi. Yeah, you thought I was going to hate mochi. Yeah, I really did. We both thought I was not going to like plum crisps. No. So the next one is another odd pairing. It is, it is a little pear biscuit so it's a tiny little pear biscuit and it says the delicious biscuit is a blend of 20th century asian pear rich cheese and white chocolate what that, that might is be the strangest thing i've ever tried that is three things i would never have paired together like pears mm. cheese and white chocolate so exciting though i think i might sit this one out no you're not allowed oh i am i'm gonna watch you eat it first yeah okay all right, and then I'm going to see what you think oh, about do, do we... So it's like a little biscuit with chocolate that's infused with pear and cheese. See, I'm strange, though. Like, I mix, like, a lot of foods together, like, that people normally wouldn't. And I like it. Like, like strawberry... What do I have? Chicken with strawberry sauce. Chicken with strawberry sauce. Yeah. Yeah, genuinely. Like, I, I live with her and I see her cook and make meals on a regular mm -hmm. basis. And, like, she creates absolute monstrosities. You are the equivalent of... The, like the apocalypse where you're stuck and you literally just have to eat whatever you have. Yeah, I just in mix your everything cabinets. together. I'm like, I'm hungry. I'll have everything at once. And I'm like, if you'll eat it at separate times, then why not just eat it all at the same time? Same thing. Yeah, okay. I completely disagree, but. Oh, I don't think we're on a winner here. No, it's nice, but I think I can taste lemon and I'm not really supposed to have lemon. It's actually really, really, really nice. It's just that I was getting like a slight bit of lemon. So I was like, oh no, because like I've been tested and I'm not allergic to lemon, but my lips will swell up. How do you think I will feel about it? I think you'll like it. It's really delicious. It doesn't taste like cheese at all. Not really. It's a different type of cheese, like the dessert, like cheese, like cheesecake. 
I hate cheesecake. But it's like cheesecake. It's not like cheese. Cheese. Mm. No. What? No. Don't throw it away. No. No. Why? No. Absolutely not. It's literally like. I can see biscuit. why. Yeah. Really. I can really see nice. why people would like it. I can. How do you not taste the cheese? I don't taste any cheese. All I taste is cheese. It's like cheese cake, like cake. All I taste now is cheese. I don't taste. I don't taste the cheese. It was cheese and fruit, which I know people. Yeah, pair that's really good. And people like, but for me, no, no. I loved it. I thought you were gonna like that. I'm sorry. I... No, I hated that. It's frightening at first, but then you're like, oh. No, I liked it at first, and then I didn't. Because then I got the wait, cheese. Wait, wait, I know what tastes like custard creams. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It does not taste like custard creams. Don't listen to her. It tastes like custard creams if you like had a cheese string with it. So the next thing that I'm going to try is um, white strawberry. So it's strawberry dipped in white chocolate, which I know I love. Yeah, basically it's like freeze dried strawberries that they put like chocolate, white chocolate into. Oh, in I thought it was like gonna be dipped it's in there oh it's infused now i love strawberry and i love chocolate but i disagree with mixing anything in chocolate like mint chocolate i don't like any any other than biscuit in chocolate yeah. i just kind of i was up. just shocked because like i thought like it was gonna be dipped in it like it's inside the strawberry <laughs> i'm skipping this one just because i morally object to fruit and chocolate oh you're not enjoying this one it's really weird it's nice, but then there's a weird aftertaste. That's really nice, but there's like, it's a strange like aftertone. Just a tiny little weird thing, but it's still really good. I feel like it'd be a really nice afternoon tea type of snack. I'm not, e I'm not even touching it. I'm skipping. Fruit, no way. Yeah, fruit, screw that. So next thing on this list is an edamame senbei, which is like a cracker. I've never had edamame, so I'm like interested to see, but I think it's like a nutty flavor. So, <laughs> oh, that is like, Pure no. <laughs> Are you gonna eat it? I can't do it. You don't have to do it either. I want to. It's just so not either. Will you be alright? Of course I am. It's mm. Really? Mm. Oh, okay. Well, you mm. like nuts. Like, she pick a Snickers over a Mars bar. It's like um, a sweet, salty peanut. Oh, okay, that's Sweet cool. and salty. That's fair. It's like those crisps that I was eating. Corn, not candy corn, caramel corn Caramel crisps. corn crisps. And in the end of the bag, it's like just nuts oh, in the bottom. It, so yeah. strange. Yeah, that was the crisps that Lynn tried in the last video. Yeah. If you want to check that out, link in the description to the last video. But finish we this one first. Also, we didn't know there was nuts in the end of the bag till later on. So the next thing in the box is these yuzu sake candies, which are basically like hard-boiled lemon sweets with sake in them. And they said that they blended yuzu juice and peel with sake. So I'm actually really excited because I love lemon sweets. I can't have these. Yeah, Lena's allergic to lemons, so she's going to have to skip this one. But Give me the alcohol. <laughs> Connor's gonna be drunk, you don't. Connor hasn't drank in like a long time. So. Yeah, it actually says as well that it contains alcohol, but it's like 0.1% alcohol. Like so. that has wine on them. Yeah, and I, I don't drink and I haven't drank in like eight years, so it'll be interesting to see if these things can be hammered or not. Be boozy. That is interesting. They don't taste like lemon sweet. So yeah, I just checked and a yuzu is kind of more like an orange than it is a lemon. So that explains why this has like more of an orangey taste than a lemony taste. <laughs> I'm stuck. Yeah, that's pretty good. Sounds like you're eating a marble. Like it doesn't taste like alcohol. It just kind of tastes like an orange slash lemon sweet. Well, that gets a thumbs up for me. I would like, I would definitely keep these in my pocket and just like randomly snack on them as I was out and about. Like, so the next thing I'm going to try is Don Don Yaki, which is like, I don't know. What the heck is it? <laughs> it's like little pieces of biscuit that have been marinated in sauce. It says it's peppery and a little sweet. You want to try one? I'm going to smell it first. It smells like, it smells like salt and vinegar for some reason. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll actually try this. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like salt and vinegar. Yeah, it smells like chips, kind of. Mmm. 
You know what that tastes like? Um, what are those crisps? Um, Smoky bacon? No, it's a specific crisp I'm thinking of. I, Is it wheelies? They do not taste like wheelies. Bikers? Bikers. Is that it? Yeah. It's really gonna, good though. Mm. It's going to kill me, but if I think of it in post, I will, I will put it here. To me, it tastes like salt and vinegar and pepper crisps. Yeah, but kind of like barbecue-y. They are surprisingly good. If you see, they're like, they're just like tiny little crisps. So much flavor. Yeah, yeah. They're it's really like... like of flavor. Like yeah, for something flavor. so small, like, mm. it's crazy. It's lovely. But if I had to pick, I'd, I'd definitely, I'd go for the plum crisps. No, I'd pick them. Really? Well, I love both of them, actually. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd eat a whole bag of the plum crisps before I would eat a whole bag no, of No, they're um, like delicious, so... They, they like, are very good. They're nice, but like they're like really good. They are very good, but the plum crisps mm. were were like were if for I me. I really like pepper either, but there's not that much pepper in them. So yeah, that was that was surprising. I thought that was gonna be a, a thing that I would not like either, and it was actually really really good. So next is uh, as Lynn mentioned earlier. Uh, yeah, I actually mentioned this earlier, so you know now that it's you probably won't like it. So this is Hokkaido red bean donuts. So like Lynn said earlier, she had like red bean mochi. There's a very specific like taste and texture to red bean what the that I don't think I'm going to like and that you haven't like loved in the past. But yeah. they are like little fried donut balls. Looks like a kiwi. How does that not look like a kiwi to you? That does not look like a kiwi. Oh no, just now I see that, it focus in the camera. I know it doesn't. It does not look My anything eyes are like out a focus. kiwi. So I'm not going to lie, I'm not. I'm even scared, I'm honestly. not crazy excited for this. I no, even I'm scared, and I don't get scared easy. Mmm. Really? Mmm. Oh, it is so fried. My favourite dessert is actually fried donuts. We have this little fried donut place here called the Roland Donut, and where they do fried donuts. And they're my favourite. I hadn't had them in like I hadn't had them in like a year now or something. And that tastes exactly like fresh uh, rolling donut. And that the paste actually doesn't taste like red paste. It tastes like chocolate or something. It tastes like very bland chocolate. It looks like chocolate too. So there's a cross section of the donut. I was so scared and that was like the nicest thing I've ever had. Yeah, that was, if that was chocolate in the centre of that, that would be so dope. Like I would, that this would be like my favorite thing. The red bean paste is kind of like not bland, but it just doesn't really have much of a flavor in it. Putting that away. Yeah, I'm putting that away. <laughs> you got more snacks to eat. Yeah, the red bean paste, like it adds a texture to it, which is nice, but like it doesn't have a strong flavor. Yeah. If there was chocolate in the middle of that, oh. That was such a nice so surprise good. though, because like I miss fried donuts so much and I don't know how to make them here at home. So next we have matcha chocolate stick cake. I've had matcha like twice before. I don't think you've ever had matcha before. No, I've never had matcha. I think I tried the matcha Kit Kat. Yeah. And I wasn't crazy into it. Yeah, I don't really love matcha myself, to be honest. I've never had matcha tea or anything. Mm. Well, matcha is everywhere in Japan. Like everything has like a matcha variant flavor. Yeah. Like any single food that exists in Japan, there is like a matcha version of it yeah. as well. Really fancy packaging too. Yeah, and it's got chocolate chips in it. I'm curious to see, will this be nice? I'm genuinely curious. I also I think this would go really good with the tea. So I've decided to make some of the tea to get the full experience because I thought the tea would go well with the matcha cake. It's very strange. So it's green tea with brown rice and for some reason it tastes really nutty, which I was not expecting. I've never had nutty tea before. <laughs> Are you going to try this? I will give this a shot okay. for sure. Okay. I don't have high expectations for it. Because I'm aware that is matcha is a very love or hate thing, you know? Some people really, really love it. No, oh, yeah. It depends on what you've had, I guess. Like, the, the matcha that I've had, I haven't, like, it didn't taste much. Oh, you want to eat it together? Well, not like Lady and the Tramp. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, yeah, Lady and the Tramp. No, that's going to disgust people. I'm just going to take a bite off the end. Oh, yeah, because chocolate is all around it as well on the sides, is it? That is not bad. Mm. That is not bad at all. The chocolate chips really mm. sell it. It's real soft. It just like melted in my mouth and then I just had like little chocolate chips left. It Man, this like... is like, this, this <laughs> box is really blown my mind. Like Genuinely. And I'm not just saying that because they're a sponsor. Because I hate food. <laughs> like, I am the world's pickiest eater. Yeah. Like I hate everything. I eat like maybe five things total. And I have liked... 90% of the things in this box so far and we're nearly at the end like. but that one, yeah that one literally just tastes like chocolate chip cake yeah you can't just really like, taste the matcha it's like very slight yeah so. man I could have been eating so many more snacks in Japan than I realised 
<laughs> like I missed out on eating so many things. Honestly, I didn't really have that many snacks either. I'm just. But yeah, you don't know like what you actually like now. You know, more, more things. I'm ever. broken now. Like my whole worldview is shattered. Yeah. Maybe I do like. Cause you food. never even tried stuff, but now, like, cause we were here and you can't just sit here. Well, I'm trying everything, so you tried stuff and you liked it. But I will say, I don't love that tea, and you would definitely not like that tea. No, I don't think so. And nutty, nutty, tea nutty tea is, tea is just is, not for me. That's a weird combo. But yeah, that matcha cake surprisingly good. Everything in this box so far, like ninety percent of it, surprisingly good. I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> like really, I'm having like an existential crisis. Over I'm so this. glad now when we go back to Japan, I'll be like, "Hey, try this," and I'll actually try and it. And I will bring up this video and be like, "Look, remember, we stand personal growth." I'm growing. I'm not going to be a picky eater for the rest of my life. We'll get yeah. there. We'll get there. But speaking of, this next thing looks like an absolute nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to skip this one to be honest Because it is Black Sesame Tyco This is just too Seedy looking for me Like I'm You I'm, don't know what you like anymore I'm, How I'm, do you not know? You might like seeds I'm growing but I haven't grown that much Aww. So basically what this is Is it's like almonds and black sesame seeds Like mixed together with syrup Or like sugar yeah. I think Except that and, this is also nutty I think And it's like pressed into these like disc shapes That's why they're called taikos Because if you don't know I don't know I'm probably horribly mispronouncing that But taikos are the Japanese drums If you've ever seen like the arcade game Like in one oh, of our yeah. old videos Lynn was playing the drum game and stuff So that's why they're called taikos Because they're in the shape of like a drum So this is it Board field. Oh no. No, it really looks like my boards failed to be honest now. I can't, it, like I'm not exaggerating, like nuts are just not for me, like. Hmm. Really? Hmm. No. No, you're not tricking me into trying it. No, you won't like that. You're telling me give that a hard pass? I think if you have that, you won't try anything else, so, yep. <laughs> like, it's nice, but I just know what you don't like. Yeah. Well, I thought I knew, maybe Yeah, now we don't I know don't anymore. Know. Yeah, we don't you know. You want to try some? No, definitely not. But this is, this is a step in the right direction. This will be a good follow-up to that, because this is a caramel apple yakoi sable, it says. So it's a cookie basically made with apple and salted caramel. Hell yeah. And Lynn loves salted caramel. I keep forgetting. I just want to buy salted caramel to just eat like <laughs> reminder <laughs> okay so apparently yakoi I'm assuming I don't know why I said yakoi judging by the way Japanese is spoken it's yakoi yawaii you what? Means chewy. So it's like a soft chewy biscuit like a like you know like a fresh cookie when they're just you know, when you get a cookie and it's fresh out of the oven and you take a bite of it and it like peels away like as you're chewing you can like feel it and it's kind of resisting but at the same time it's like oh and then it gets in your mouth and like whoa so I imagine this one will be good again we're I we're gonna be fighting over who gets seed <laughs> it smells really good mm. it smells really really oh, good oh I wish I had tea like that it smells kind of like a fig roll and I love fig rolls you want a lady in a tramp this <laughs> come on do it people do think it. it's disgusting do it do it Mm. Oh yeah I really want to get to the middle though Looks like That's where I am 100% about this This might be my favourite thing in the box Because I love fig rolls And this is like a really chewy fig roll I hope roll. we got two of them I didn't see another one I think this is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is one of the few things in the box We didn't get a double of <clears throat> You want for more? Bye. Admittedly, I don't really taste the caramel. Mm -mm. It's more the texture is mm -mm. the caramel. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the middle is the caramel? Mm. Oh, okay. Hold up. I don't think that's caramel. It's not a normal caramel. It's like apple -y. I think it's more apple in the middle. That was, that was amazing though. 10 out of 10. That was incredible. I think that's my favorite thing in the box. That was so good. So the next thing is this chocolate fish. <laughs> chocolate fish. So, like, I think the, the story behind this is that the red snapper, the, the fish, is like a New Year thing, like a good luck sign for Japan. In Japan, they kind of have a tendency to buy, like, gifts, like Kit Kats and stuff for people to say, like, thank you or whatever. So I think this is like a New Year's gift thing that you could get someone. And it's, it's essentially like a chocolate wafer biscuit thing but the thing that's actually raising my eyebrows and alarming me the guide says that it contains shellfish i'm kind of terrified that this is fish chocolate oh no do but do do there's the only one nah, i think a lot of stuff has shellfish in it and you won't even taste it honestly 
Very cute. Yeah, cute. It's a wafer shaped like the fish. And it says, it says that it's chocolate mousse inside of two wafers. But again, contains mollusk shellfish. It's terrifying. But like, I know I said I like to mix a lot of foods together, but chocolate and fish was never one of those. It has that very Japanese chocolate smell. Japanese chocolate has a tendency to edge more towards dark chocolate yeah. than like milk chocolate, but not going like too far. I think it's just not like completely sugared. Mm. I think that's why. The wafer is not fantastic. Mm. The mousse is very, very good. Mm. I can't the, say the wafer is not fantastic. It's just wafer. It's wafer. It's like, wafer. Yeah, it's very it light. Like, what could it be? It like? is. It is what it is. It's just wafer. It just kind of disappeared immediately when it like hit the saliva yeah. in my mouth. Yeah, that's really yummy. It did not taste of fish. Not so fish. that is a win. Maybe that's just a general disclaimer because it's probably like it's some tiny ingredient in yeah. like the process so or whatever. Be allergic. Yeah, like just in case anyone happens to be allergic. But yeah, fish chocolate, surprisingly nice. If you guys see there's like there's like aerated chocolate in the middle of it. We're gonna be fighting there who gets to eat one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty Happy much. food. So this is gonna be the last thing that we try. We did skip one or two things in the box just because this is a lot of food. Like it's it's yeah. so much food. Even for, like I eat a lot, but this is like a lot of food. And a even, lot of snacks. Uh, even taking like tiny little bites out of it, I'm like, I feel like I've had a full meal at this stage. <laughs> but anyway, this last thing that we are gonna be trying is an uni rice cracker. And basically what it is is a little rice biscuit cracker that has been infused with sea urchin and soy sauce so this is fish biscuit also apparently there's alcohol this also contains alcohol they are supposedly savory and salty without being overly fishy so that's a good sign yeah i think i'll be fine with this i'm gonna decline because i do not do well with fishy flavors even if it is not a very strong fishy flavor also i do not want to try this but thankfully lynn has agreed to take one for the team yeah looks good they look good Mmm, yummy. You want to show the camera? You definitely want to try one. I don't, I'm not, you're making me nervous, but I'm not. It looks fine. <laughs> the slow crunch is killing me. Mmm. <laughs> you're lying. Mm -mm. Really? It's very fishy though. Let me smell your breath. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's fishy. I like it. It's like um, salty, sweet fish. I would eat more. I'd eat the whole bag. <laughs> you really? You'd eat the whole bag? Yeah, I would. And I will. Fair. Okay. <laughs> Fair. So what would you pick as your favourite thing from the box? It's between the mochi or the donut. Not the apple cookie? Wait, hold on. Hold on. I changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also good. The donut and the apple cookie is definitely the best. You just weren't sold on the tea. Tea, tea and the, the and the board seed. And the board seed. They were the only downsides to this box. And as you can see, there was a lot in this box. And there were even things in this box that we didn't actually try in the video. Mm. So there was a lot in there. But I definitely think the caramel apple biscuit or the matcha chocolate cake were top tiers for me. Yes. And the donut and the apple cookie were the top tier picks for you. Yeah. But the pepper crisps are like almost up there but yeah that was definitely worthwhile there are some incredible snacks we are going to be eating those for yeah. the next few days um, i am very next few days i'm probably going to eat them after this video <laughs> so again we just want to say thank you to boxu for sponsoring this video thank you and if you guys want to get your hands on your own boxu and save 10 percent and help out our channel you can use this code and follow the link in the description to get your own boxu box filled with amazing japanese snacks Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then please make sure to leave us a like. Comment down below and let us know what you would like to try the most out of the snacks from this box or what you thought looked the most interesting. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing because it helps us out a lot. Until next time. See, see you, you in your nightmares. nightmares.